Now just two laps remaining. There's Carl right behind. It's now seven tenths of a second. So in the last two laps, Stenhouse has actually lengthened the lead. He might have got a phone call on the radio. Said, hey, we got to go just a little bit faster. They got to give Ricky Stenhouse a lot of credit. You know, it's it's not easy to top Carl Edwards at a track, and he's apparently he's going to do it for the second time at Iowa. Here we go. Seven eighths of a mile to go for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He picked up his first career win here back in May. And all he has to do now is negotiate two more corners, and he's going to do it again at Iowa Speedway. He dominated last week, Marty. Didn't get the win, but it looks as though he's got a little redemption in mind here tonight. He, oh, look out as he has a tire situation. Here comes Edwards right wow. into it. They cross the line, and guess who wins the race? Stenhouse. Well, thanks to Carl Edwards. Gave him a... Oh, what a Real crazy finish. Thing. Sadler comes across the line third. Wise fourth. Alma roll the fifth. And Reed Sorensen wins the hundred grand in the dash for cash. And Ricky wins for the second time, courtesy oh. of a shove from Carl Edwards. If Carl could have avoided him, he would have won the race. But he had nowhere to go. He couldn't react quick enough. That was, I've never seen anything like it. I've never have either. Look at what's left of the front end of the fasten all forward. Oh my gosh. Ricky had a tire going down, which tells you how hard he was driving. It is official from NASCAR. The six car crosses the line first, as we saw it. There he is, saying, hey, it may not look pretty, but I'm the winner. This has been an unbelievable race, has it not? <laughs> let's, let's look at this. I want to be in the team meeting at Roush Fenway on Tuesday. I, I, that's all I know. It's appropriate that it finished this way. All right, take another look at this. Okay, all of a sudden, now I don't it, think that's the tire. Engine. That's an engine. That's the engine. You're that's, right. Wow. And I wonder if Carl got into the field could, and he couldn't he, steer. I would think so, because you'd think he could have missed it, but it, it's hard to say from up here. You're right, though. It looked like it a tire the, from there. He did a good job of just keeping. Oh, uh, he had smoke and oil. I guarantee I it. Think he so. just couldn't miss him. All right, let's just listen yeah. this time from Carl's perspective. You could hear the rear tire spinning. And, and you couldn't see anything, and neither could Carl. No, and he couldn't steer. All right, let's show you this finish. The margin of victory is 66 one thousandth of a second. Well, <laughs> he wasn't beside him. He was under him. <laughs> it, again, <laughs> it's appropriate that they came together at the finish because, yeah. you know, this has been grueling, right? So... Yep, that's Carl talking to Mike Kelly. This guy working. I love right. the guy. Okay. That's awesome. Right. We gotta, right. well, let, let him know because he just thinks you're beating Good job. Hey, Thanks for the push. Thanks for the push. 